Having good quality historical price data is a key ingredient of any backtesting. In this video, I will show you how you can use formulas and Visual Basic to check for errors and improve the quality of your historical data. The first example I'm going to give you is a really basic starting point. It shows you what formulas can do to process data. And what we're going to do as an example is adjust the price data to reflect the adjusted close. Now the adjusted close and the close price are different because of things that have been paid out, usually dividends. Sometimes as well you may get stock splits and other factors which affect the closing price. So we can do this very easily with formulas. We're just going to divide the closing price, adjusted price by the closing price. If you click on here, it will copy the formulas all the way to the bottom. Now I want to just take this data here and just then control C to move this and the volume here. Now we've got the, the date here. The date's going to stay the same. So I just double click again and it copies it down. Now what I'm going to use for the open high and low close is to, this is to multiply it by this factor here. So if I take the open, press multiplies by this, and I'm going to go into the formula bar and before the H, I'm going to put the dollar symbol. Now this makes it a fixed reference, which means that I can drag it across here and it will still be referring to that cell. As you can see, it's now close multiplied by our factor. With volume, I can just take that, highlight these and double click. So there's a very simple example of how you can use formulas to process your data. In this second example, I am going to show you how we can use formulas to check for errors in our data. And we're looking here at the Q's ETF and I want to check whether or not our high and low prices are accurate relative to the open and close. So I'm going to put in a formula and you're going to type in equals if and then I'm going to put or the close price. If the close price is lower than either the open or the close price is lower than the close, close the bracket, then we've got an error because the high price is the high and it should be higher than everything else. So I'm going to put in a little message saying high price error. I'm going to do another if or here and this time I'm going to say if the low price is greater than the open or the low price is greater than the close. Close that bracket, put a comma, I'm going to have a low price error. So I'm going to put in a message to myself. And if neither of these is the case, I'm going to leave the cell blank. I'm going to put in two brackets to close the formula. So we've got our formula in here and like before, if we double click here, it's going to copy the formula down. Now, I'm only using about 6,000 rows worth of data in this particular spreadsheet. You may have a lot more than this. You may have 60,000 rows or even more. So this isn't always a practical way to do it. But if we're using formulas, we can use conditional format. to look for error and then I can scroll down here just take the bar here and just look visually and see if we've got any error messages. And I'm doing this quite fast because I know that we do have one and I didn't put this one in it is an error in the data very small error got the high price here which is lower than the open price so however that happened that's an issue in the data but at least now we're aware for it and we can correct for it or at least be aware of it now that was a very simple example you can use if statements to do all sorts of testing on your data and there is no limit to the ways you can check your data however 
there are some issues with it and the one that I highlighted is we've got to find the problems manually. Now, if you want to speed up this process, you can automate it using Visual Basic. And this is what I'm going to show in the next video in this series. You see this button here, this clicks a macro that I have created. And if you want to have a look at that video, you can click on the link and see how I have set that up. If you like this video, please hit the like button and do subscribe to this channel to see lots more videos like this about backtesting the financial markets and improving your trading.